Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this scene done. Uh, we're going to animate this flag. Even though I didn't do any animation, um, I didn't animate anything. It's all being taken care of by the physics in the end cloth material. I'm going to show you how to get the uh, scene done and how to get this flag waving in the wind all within the physics of the end cloth. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. The first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and create a polygon plane and size it, uh, rotate it, hit uh, E to rotate, hold down the J key, 90 degrees, and then I'm gonna push it back. This will be our sky, our background. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and Place that image in there. I'm going to go to the rendering tab, create a new Lambert material. And on the color, click on the checkerboard icon, uh, click on the file to create the render node, and click on the folder icon. And I'm going to select the sky background. And there it is. Now, if I hit number six uh, for a textured preview, uh, there it is. So there's my background, my sky background. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. And then I am going to start modeling the flag. And so I'll go back to the polygon modeling shelf, create another polygon plane, and let's size it. Uh, I'm gonna size it about to there. And then I'm going to add some subdivisions. I have this polygon plane selected. I'm going to go to the polyplane tab here in the attribute editor and I am going to add some more um, subdivisions. I'm going to add maybe 30 across and 20 um, up and down so we can have a little bit more subdivisions. Since we're going to do an end cloth, we are going to need more subdivisions. And in fact, I don't want to add way, way too many, but I want to add more than what it had. And so these, this is, this will work. I am also going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees. I'm going to hold the J key down 90 degrees. One more click. And that is my flag. I'm going to move it up to about there and I'm going to move it over just so we can get that background. That's about right. I'm gonna hide this background for a minute. H to hide. And then I wanna model the flagpole. And so with that, I'm going to create a cylinder. I am going to size it proportionately first and then on the Y. You have to do a couple of these. Push it up to about there. There we have there. We have our modeling done. That's all it's going to take. Um, basically one plane for the flag, one polygon plane for the sky, and then one cylinder for the flagpole. I'm going to hide the uh, grid for a minute. All right. So let's go ahead and add an image here you have to if you're going to add an image to the flag and mostly most likely you will let's go ahead and add the image now before we apply the end cloth so i am going to create a material go to the rendering menu shelf create a new blend we can call this flag and the color we're going to replace it with an image file we're going to get this flag, this one, and put on there. There it is. And the flagpole, I'm just going to leave gray. So uh, let's create a new. And then let's just uh, get this gray. All right. So we're almost done. That's it, guys. This is the all the modeling there is, to be honest. And so if we select the flag, all we have to do is go to the effects menu set and go to the end cloth menu and just create an end cloth. Just click on it. Boom. There it is. When we hit play, it just falls forever. 
So we, we don't want that. We want to hold it here to the flagpole. And so I'm going to go to the front um, view. I'm going to hit F. And then I'm going to hit number four so we can see the wireframe. I'm going to hit this. Right click and hold to go to vertex mode. And then I'm going to select all of these vertices on the side here, on the left hand side. All of these vertices will keep the flag in its place. And so I'm going to do an end constraint and do a transform constraint. That means that when I hit play, the flag would be uh, held on by these uh, vertices. So now it doesn't fall all the way down. Good. And so if we go to, I'm going to move the, uh, the flagpole back a little. Right about there. <clears throat> If we go to the perspective view, you'll see something happen that's not ideal. Let me move my view. Let's go hit play. And then you can see that flag through, it goes through the flagpole. You see that? So that's not ideal. Let's go ahead and select this flagpole, go to end cloth and create a passive collider. This collider, this flagpole will collide with the end cloth material. So if I hit play again, you can see that that pole now is holding the flag there uh, and the flag is not going through the, the, the pole. And so one more thing I'd like to do, uh, if you click on the nucleus, the nucleus holds all the gravity and wind, all the dynamics. Uh, and so what I'd like to do is create some wind going this way. If you notice, this is the X direction. And so what I'd like to do is the wind direction is on the X. This is X, Y, and Z. So it we're, we're right on that, but there is no wind speed. So let's go ahead and put 10 for wind speed. And let's see what that, what happens. And we should see that flag get picked up by the wind. There it is, barely though. So I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. Maybe go to, oh, I have to select the nucleus and then maybe go to 15 instead. And we'll see how now the wind kinda picks it up, doesn't even let it fall all the way to the bottom. The wind starts and picks it up. And there it is. There's our flag waving in the wind. If you noticed, though, I'm going to stop it right here. If you notice, the back of this flag is completely black. And you do not see the flag, the, the image back there at all. Um, and the end cloth material respects that. It's just, it remains completely black. You could see the black in there. If one way you can um, fix this is if you go to the uh, material and push up the ambient color um, a little bit. You can see it here. Boom. You can see the flag there now. It's a little darker, but I, that's okay. That way you can distinguish the front from the back. Boom. There it is. And the flag is front and back. And there we have it guys there's a, a flag waving in the wind i didn't even animate anything all the animation is being taken care of by the physics and the end cloth hey guys i hope you liked the video if you liked the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one